Hey guys, welcome back to my S Frank walkthrough in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. This is the 15th mission called Footprints of Phantoms. Now, this is real easy. Uh, once you get to the start point, you need to go into the village and destroy the walker gears. Now there's four total, and there's two on uh, one together, and then there's two not far that are also together. So all you need to do is just go and either extract them using your Fulton uh, retrieval system, which at this point in the game, I don't actually have one that's uh, upgraded enough to carry these bigger, heavier items. So I'm just going to destroy them. And to do that, I'm going to just use C4. I suppose if I wanted to do camp out from a distance and just use a rocket launch rad, I could. Uh, but I'm just gonna go and kind of mix in some stealth somewhat successfully and uh, do this. And now they're going to be located in the back of this village. So I've placed a waypoint, uh, at least to where I thought it was going to be, but Looks like I might have been a little off, but I'm just going to go around the back and kind of avoid as much contact as possible. Uh, obviously, I'm going to encounter a couple people here, but this is probably the e really at this point the easiest S rank uh, mission I've uh, encountered. So here's the two uh, gears. Now there's two guys standing right by it, so I'm going to go ahead and just put them to sleep. Now, as far as my score goes, you need only 130. Thousand for the S rank, I get 141 of it just from the time bonus. So as you can see, it's not going to be too difficult here at all. So I'm going to place a couple C4. I'm pretty sure if I placed just one between them, it would have been okay. And that's a decoy, obviously, because it was just staring at me. And this dude with the gas mask. Uh, if you do a lot of headshots, the enemies will kind of learn from your behavior and start to wear helmets and, and masks. Now there are some deployment missions you can send out to uh, restrict the uh, production of helmets and gas masks. But at this point I am having to deal with them pretty pretty heavily at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and sneak up behind this guy and uh, put him to sleep. One more here. We're going to get in the course into the reflex mode. Plant my C4 again, probably one between it would be enough. But why not take uh, any chances? I got eight of them at this point. So go ahead and light them off, and that's uh, that's all you really need to do. Of course, just like the other ones, you have to escape, leave the hot zone. You can either um, get onto the helicopter, call a helicopter, and, or just run away. So I'm just gonna go grab the D horse and, and keep running, riding out into the sunset. And that's it guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough. If you do, make sure you hit the like button, let me know you like it. And of course I'll keep doing this, there's, I don't know how many missions there are, but there's a, there's a ton. I'm probably not even a, a third of the way there yet, so we got a long ways to go. But anyways, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in uh, the 16th mission coming up shortly.